today, if you were to look at ASEAN as a region, you know, we are having more than 222 million e-commerce users in this entire region. I mean, that's an enormous amount of uh, feat which has been achieved over the last five to six years. We have seen, you know, industries after industries getting transformed and change, you know, because of this uh, particular trend. But what's even more uh, exciting is the growth ahead. Globally, we are all talking about, you know, the, the challenges associated with slowdown and inflation. It really doesn't seem like this region is slowing down at all. We are expecting that, you know, by 2025, which is, you know, not, not very far away from, uh, you know, right now, we are talking about, you know, the next, next three to four years, we will be having more than 411 million users, which will drive, you know, close to roughly 85% uh, growth rate, you know, from where we are to, you know, where we will, where we'll get to within a very short span of about three to four years. When I look at Southeast Asia, you know, especially with the mobile penetration, and in many cases it is like mobile first or mobile only approach, is allowed to leapfrog. I mean, leapfrog as a term, you know, has been coined over the last few years, but it's actually allowed not to go through the incremental waves of innovation, but really go to the to the edge of the innovation, and really which is driving a phenomenal amount of. Um, rapid mobile commerce growth uh, in the region. Consumers today, especially, you know, rely on on products and, and they get a very wide set of assortment, which is normally either not available in stores or sometimes it's very difficult to get like an endless aisle kind of, you know, assortment available in, in the physical stores, which they want to purchase. And as a result of which, you know, the whole uh, mobile experience is, is something which is, which is uh, great for consumers. We are expecting the whole digital payment uh, value to touch more than $1.1 trillion. And especially with innovations on things like buy now, pay later, but also the expedited shipping. You know, today, when we look at shipping, we really believe that consumers are looking for, uh, you know, same day delivery, next day delivery, and even the, you know, the quick commerce uh, trends are, are picking up very rapidly. But that is also, you know, the convenience factor is also playing a role for consumers to, you know, drive more and more purchases and transactions through the through the uh, digital channel. When you talk about mom and pop stores, it actually inherited to towards many people's life, right? Uh, way before the modern trade retailers have been there, mom and pop stores are actually becoming the front frontier the first frontier of the uh, many kind of neighbors to buy things offline, right? And with the addition, empowering them with technology, mom and pop stores can actually broaden their categories to be sold, not only physical goods, but also virtual products. Furthermore, I think starting in 2020 or 2021, social commerce like group buying are also picking up some tractions as well. Because back again, going back to the root of having a cultural, you know, uh, a, a relationship with nearby neighbors or family, aggregate becoming an agent to aggregate their their demand, something that also become uh, the new challenges, especially for the logistics people or also from the e-commerce itself. With that kind of basket size and volatility, super challenging for us to how to uh, cope that uh, with the logistical capabilities. In this case, is courier. What kind of courier fleet that we need to have? How many motorists? How many vans that can actually uh, that can entertain the orders at the right time and the right moment? That's number one. The volatility is sometimes really tricky. The second one is for sure the traffic condition, especially when we talk about not only main cities but rural cities like Bekasi, those kind of cities also having a severe uh, traffic jam in several key hours that uh, actually jeopardize our SLA to consumers. And the third one is the demand of fast delivery. So this becomes a new trend. Uh, nowadays, uh, when we go to the consumers, one of the main competitive is that, hey, uh, can you actually send these goods uh, exactly tomorrow morning? Because many competitors can do so. So this kind of competitive advantage of fast delivery also forming the new uh, mindset of customer expectations. Mm -hmm.